Hi guys, welcome to this short video comparison about the Wolfang GA100, 200, 300, 400, 420. We are looking at the details of the cameras, the functions, different resolutions, then also the packaging accessories. And of course, I'm also going to show you a quick sample footage video of every one of them. And usually you can see an upgrade from left to right. And what we have here is the GA100. So I'm starting with the housing. What you can see that packaging is usually a little bit larger here in the 100, 200. And now they have been making smaller packagings, but that's pretty much same content inside, same accessories, but I'm going to show you that later. They all come with their housings. They are waterproof around, I think, 40 meters, all of them, as far as I can see. And until here, until the GA300, they are not waterproof on their own, like these ones here. But these ones here on the right side, GA400 and GA420, both have their new uh, waterproof housing, which is waterproof. I think this one 8 meters, this one 10 meters without the housing, and only when you need it for scuba diving, then you have to add the housing. All the housings are really good. They have this simple lock here, except the GA100. If you need this additional lock, you have to go with the GA100. But I'm not a, a big fan of this additional lock. It makes it just a little bit complicated. It's actually not needed. Then we have the old and new style of the housings. The GA100 and GA300 have still the old style of the housing, which is more like a rectangle. As you can see, this one same or very similar here. And we have the GA200 in between, which has already a nicer, more modern looking uh, housing. And of course, then the GA400 and 420 as well. Then we have two times a front screen with the GA200, GA420. These are the two only cameras which have a screen in the back and a screen in the front. And I mean, it's a full screen. I can turn it on. So with this one, we can long press here and then it goes to the front. And similar thing with the GA420, but we have to press long on the top and then it will show the screen in the front. But for none of them, we have front screen and back screen screen at the same time. Then regarding the touch screen, you can see the GA100 doesn't have a touch screen, but it has four buttons. We can control it everything easily with this button here in the front and up and down and so. So it's pretty much standard control as most of the other action cameras. So it's easy to learn. You don't have to be worried about that. But all the other cameras, they have their touch screen, as you can see. The 400 and 420 have a little bit an upgraded touchscreen, as you can see. It has a much nicer, faster, smoother running touchscreen as the 200 and the 300. Then, of course, what we want to have resolution is 4K 60 frames, but not all of them have this. Here is the GA100. We can go up to 4K and 30 frames. But when we activate the electronic stabilization, it goes down to 2.7K with 30 frames. With the GA200, we have highest resolution at 4K 30 frames per second. And this is with image stabilization, so it doesn't go down when we activate the image stabilization. We can see that here. And from the GA300 and up, we have 4K 60 frames with electronic stabilization. Then regarding the viewing angle, we have with all of them around 90 degrees viewing angle. But when we activate the electronic stabilization, it goes a little bit below. We can see that here with this box, it's a little bit below 90 degrees. And when we are close, we cannot see the whole box. We have to move a little bit away. Then regarding video and photo quality, we have an improvement from the 100, then 200, 300, 400, uh, 400 and 420, they are pretty much the same. 420, I have just seen an upgrade regarding stabilization. 
especially regarding the fast motion stabilization, which is called usually the time warp. But all have pretty good quality with the GA100. We have a little bit almost too much, too strong colors with the GA200. It's sometimes a little bit like cloudy, but more natural colors with the 300. It has improved quite a lot. So they have very similar image or video quality but uh, we have much better stabilization with the GA400 and the GA420. So as promised, here's the live footage of the GA100. And here's the live footage of the GA200. And here's the live footage of the GA300. And here's the live footage of the GA400. And that's live footage of the GA420. And a little bit regarding the most important accessories, we have bike mounts for all of them, which is probably the most interesting accessory. But regarding the microphone, we have only a microphone with the GA100, GA300 and GA420. So no microphone with the GA200 and the GA400. And because these external microphones are really good, that's really something to consider. Wolfgang GA420 external microphone test 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Also that we can use the GA400 and 420 without the housing. So we have much better microphone quality already without the external microphone, let's say at the beach or at the pool or so with the 400 and 420. Wolfgang GA420 built-in microphone test 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because with the 100, 200 and 300 we have to use the waterproof housing and then it's very hard to record anything with the built-in microphone. Then we have a second battery with all of these sets. You can see that here, here and here. But only the GA200 has an external charging case. So that's a huge advantage of course when you want to record more or less non-stop. You can use uh, one battery already in the camera uh, while charging the other one. For all the other models we have to charge the battery within the camera. Regarding the openings the 100 has a little bit of a cover. This can be uh, quite some advantage. Uh, so it's a little bit water protected. I would say also without the housing, of course, not for swimming or so, just a, a little bit against the water. The 200, 300, uh, everything is totally open, absolutely not protected. And of course, with the 400, 420, it's totally protected. For charging and data transfer, we have for all micro USB and they are all using micro SD cards which are not included, uh, not in any of these sets and U3 and up are recommended because when you are using two slow micro SD cards then you cannot record in 4K 60 frames per second. I've tested this especially with these cameras with older micro SD cards so make sure that you are buying only class U3 and up. And all of them come with the remote control, as you can see, all have Wi-Fi. They can all be connected to an app, which I haven't tried. I have also not tried the remote control. They have been working really flawless, very reliable. I haven't found any real problem or so. So I can give you full recommendation for all of them. But of course, top of the line with the best housing, best footage, most of the functions. That's the GA420 at the moment.
content. And so if you're interested, I'll put down the links of all of them down into the description so you can check it out and order it from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.